After talking about how much we loved the goofy controls in Gang Beasts, a lot of people recommended us to give Human Fall Flat a try. It's a more cooperative experience, but it's got the same healthy dose of flop. You can jump in this game. Oh my god, you can, and it's so floppy. Similar to Gang Beast, the Climbing King is at it again, except this time he's actually supposed to be climbing. As his girlfriend, I promise to always look lovingly as he precariously scales the side of that wall. I'll also promise to enjoy watching when he falls flat on his face on date night. In typical fashion, we blindly marched into two single-player campaigns thinking they were just a tutorial before we could play proper co-op. It wasn't until about an hour and three levels in that we realized we were just playing the game normally. I guess that means you're having fun though. The good news was that while on the hunt for the multiplayer menu, we found one for customizing. Cool. Shit. If we were having fun before, adding a splash of color to our characters brought things to another level. It almost made up for how long we spent customizing. It's one thing to give me a bunch of costumes to choose from, but then you add the ability to pick custom colors on top of that? It's a miracle he was able to pull me out of the menu without kicking and screaming, because I could just not settle on my favorite shade of pink. Either way, running around decked out in costumes made things substantially more enjoyable for both of us. You would think with my floaty I could float. From the very start, it was clear we had our own style of problem solving. It's probably for the best that we started out separately because it gave us both an opportunity to learn a little bit about ourselves. He likes to look around and appraise the situation before making a move, whereas I have a more hands-on approach. How the hell do I climb on top of something? I am unbelievably adept at falling flat. Ah. <laughs> uh. A challenge unworthy of me. <laughs> I'm moving on to bigger and better oh places. Oh my god, you're already going to the next one? Fuck. Nice knowing you. It didn't take long for the two of us to figure out how we worked as a team in this one. He's good at using his hands, and I'm not. That's okay though, because on more than one occasion, someone needs to push a bunch of buttons or pull some levers, and that's when I really shine. Yes, I have opened the door. Easy money. Woo! Because of how things control, it's not always easy to see what you're doing while you're doing it. <laughs> I can't see! Because of the goofy physics, a lot of times he would be doing the action and I'd be his eyes. That would work so long as the eyes didn't get distracted and wander off. Okay. So, let me know when I'm at the edge. Oh, okay. I think I'm almost there. You have to go up the stair. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much at the edge. Okay, do you think it will reach? Oh my god, you just walked <laughs> over the edge! <laughs> okay, you're, you, you don't understand. You're my eyes. Like. <laughs> I told you you were approaching. I need you to, like, give me some instructions, though. Like, am I close? Do I need to, like, lean forward? Taryn, you're not even looking at me. <laughs> I'm starting to go, okay, oh, you're perfect, okay. We've got sticky hands in this one, and if you take nothing else away from this video, it should be that I will always find a way to get stuck to him. Nine times out of 10, I'm just sitting to the side waiting for my turn to climb with my hands in the air. I don't know how it happens, but somehow he'll always bump into me, and the next thing you know, he's climbing with a passenger. That's my head. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's one of those classic, like, why? <laughs> Despite causing some havoc, there are just as many times where I'm glad we can grab each other. It can come in handy when one of us falls short and needs a little boost to make a jump. On more than a few occasions, I was hanging on for dear life and he was able to pull me up. Okay, I'm pulling. Yeah, like I'm pulling you in. Yeah, welcome to the dark. I just, I'm scared I'm gonna lose you again. I wish I could say I returned the favor, but if I'm being honest, letting him pull himself up was usually the safer way to handle those situations. Oh my god, I can't get up. Shit, how do I help? I don't think you can. Since we both started off in a single player campaign, we learned the rules of the game without having the other player around. All was fair and good up until one of us died and we learned an extremely valuable piece of intel. Only one of us has to make it to a checkpoint. But basically, as soon as either one of us made it to a spot where a safe popped up in the corner, it was an invitation for the other to hurl themselves off the nearest cliff. Okay, I'm hopping in the water. Woo! 
this ended up being a godsend for us, because as soon as it came to swinging and platforming with our little jelly characters, I started getting left in the dust. Initially, I did my best to keep up, but there was no way I was ever going to be able to pull off the crazy stunts that he could. Thank goodness, because I'm just here to giggle about our silly little ragdolls. I was told game beast, but cooperative. No one ever said anything about making the characters be agile and dexterous. Can you let go, please? What are you doing? <laughs> helping. <laughs> You're not helping. I'm gonna fall off, there's a speedboat. With that said, playing with two people turned out to be a little bit of a double-edged sword. The reason being that all these puzzles are solvable with one person. Woohoo! <laughs> oh! With that in mind, you'd think two heads are better than one, but suddenly your options just doubled. When all you have is a hammer, all your problems start looking like nails. Conversely, when you've got a boyfriend, all you want to do is use him to solve your problems. I made it. What am I doing now? We'd end up overthinking some very simple puzzles, all in the name of trying to outsmart the game by using two people. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for Are both of us. Are you gonna take it? Yep. Okay. Then am I gonna let go? Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Um, <laughs> you need to, <laughs> you have to, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My, my sacrifice isn't as dramatic as I thought it was. This is for the team. Ooh. Damn, you're so I lived. I can't count how many times we'd forget we're playing a game about solving puzzles and instead we decide to try and do things just to see if we could. See ya. I made it, kind of, yeah, I did make it. There's a lot of freedom, and depending on your competency with steering the little noodle arms around, the whole world can be your oyster. Whoa. At the end of the day, we're planning to have fun, and fun can be as convoluted and crazy of a solution to a puzzle as we make it. You should hop on the hamster wheel. Do we want that to come down? Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Hop on the hamster wheel. Now I'm gonna latch this Why? onto <laughs> there. No one's paying him to unload the shipping containers from this cargo ship, but he handles it so professionally that you'd think it was his new gig. I feel like an actual like cargo ship worker. <laughs> it's the funny thing. Yeah. I'm sure this is exactly how it works, but it's just funny. Uh, that's not quite. There. Shit. Oh no. Uh oh, my leg is somehow. <laughs> I blend in with the box. As the more dexterous between the two of us, it was usually him figuring out the solutions to the puzzles. In my defense, a lot of the times it was me that made it possible for him to jump or climb to wherever he was. Although, he'd take it upon himself to puzzle out the rest of the way to a safe point rather than figure out how to help me get up to his level. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm the one doing this. Oh my god, yeah. Somehow me climbing is the best option. Whether or not it was the fast way of doing things is kind of up for debate. All I know is that we were cruising when we were on our own. But as soon as we joined up, the level started taking hours to complete. Why did I have to put all six boxes in the river by myself? Because I'm busy trying to wiggle through this pole. I can't help feeling like, you know... One of us is putting the chains on stuff, and the other's just sitting around watching. I mean, I'm doing artistry over here. I mean, I don't deny that, but... We both might be guilty of dragging our feet, though. The reality is that if it was one of us trapped inside a castle, it would be an escape. Since it's the two of us, it turned into a tour. Brace yourself. Ah! Um... <laughs> I was way too high. We went to like back up the catapult. Oh, up the we adopted a much more leisurely pace once there were two of us since the urgency to be first was gone. Where before we were competing to see who could make it to the end fastest, the incentive to be quick wasn't there anymore. Instead, all that was left was trying to find the more creative solution to a puzzle. All right, well, we're just gonna, if we're gonna do it this way, I guess. A major theme for the two of us was trying to find alternative ways to get through the levels. In a lot of cases, it was very clear which direction we were supposed to go. But in a game like this, it's just so tempting to try and find another way through. You know what I bet we could do? 
I bet you can just hold onto a chain, I can lift you and then put you over on that platform. Yeah, but instead we're trying to get extra credit. For every door that I walked through, you could always bet there was a windowsill somewhere that had him rolling through headfirst. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> What's funny is that there were plenty of times where we felt like the game wanted us to break its sequences. There's just a few too many coincidences for my taste, and I have a feeling that they wanted to reward us for being clever. Call me crazy, but I swear there's gotta be ways to beat these levels using hindsight in a fraction of the time. We are here for a reason. Hmm. But why? Usually, I'm the one falling asleep to his wild theories before bed, but this time, I'm keeping him up with ideas about how we could have used the second boat to skip the fourth one and beat the level in like five minutes. It all sounds crazy on paper, but I swear, just give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. If we were ever to revisit a level, I have my suspicions that we could bypass everything now that we know where the exit gates are. It's just a matter of convincing him that he won't have to do all the work this time. Ow. Ow. 